for a host machine that uses the token bucket algorithm for congestion control the token bucket has a capacity of 1 megabyte and the maximum output rate is 20 megabytes per second tokens arrive at a rate to sustain output at a rate of 10 megabytes per second the token bucket is currently full and the machine needs to send 12 megabytes of data the minimum time required to transmit is dash seconds so this is again a straightforward question coming from token bucket section in computer networks so please refer to the video lectures for token buckets first in order to learn about the algorithm and all the properties of that in order to solve this question easily so in this question we'll take a look at how it works so it is said that initially the token bucket is full okay so while the token bucket is full we can have an output rate of 20 megabytes per second when we have tokens available in the bucket we can keep an output rate of 20 megabytes per second until the tokens in the bucket become empty now after the tokens are empty the tokens arrive at a rate of 10 megabytes per second so tokens arrive into the bucket at a rate of 10 megabytes per second so initially we had 1 megabyte worth of tokens in the bucket so that data we can send out at a rate of 20 megabytes per second plus whatever is coming into the bucket also we can send at 20 megabytes per second but after the bucket becomes empty tokens arrive at a rate of 10 megabyte per second so we can output at a rate of 10 megabyte per second only from that time so which means that till the token bucket is empty the output rate will be 20 megabytes per second after the token bucket becomes empty the output rate will be 10 megabytes per second so let us assume that let t be the time taken for the bucket to become empty so if t is the time taken for the bucket to become empty what is the amount of data that will be sent out from the bucket so till for the time t it will be sending out at 20 megabits per second so the amount of data that will be sent out will be 20 t that will be equal to the amount of data that was already there in the bucket that was 1 megabyte plus also we can send that 1 megabyte out at a rate of 20 megabytes per second for some time t but in that time t new tokens will keep on arriving into the token bucket so that also we can send out at this rate only till that bucket becomes empty so after a while the bucket will become empty and after that only the rate will go down to 10 megabytes per second so for time t we will be sending out 20 into t amount of data outside that will be equal to 1 megabyte that was already there in the token bucket plus whatever arrived into the token bucket at that time that will be 10 into t arrival rate is 10 megabytes per second and t is the time at which till which we will be sending at 20 megabytes per second if you didn't understand this part please refer to the video lectures it is explained very clearly there and once you learn that you, you didn't have to go through all this you could have just applied the standard formula directly here so we got this expression 10 t plus 1 equal to 20 t which means 10 t will be equal to 1 and t equal to 1 by 10 or 0.1 seconds so which means that for 0.1 seconds we will be sending out at a rate of 20 megabytes per second and after 0.1 seconds we will be sending out at a rate of 10 megabytes per second so what will be the data sent in 0.1 seconds at 20 megabytes per second rate that will be 0.1 into 20 that is 2 megabyte so for the first 0.1 second we will be sending out 2 megabytes we had a total of 12 megabytes of data to send so the remaining data is 10 megabytes after so after this 0.1 second the bucket will be empty so we can only output at the input rate only the input rate was 10 megabytes per second so the rest of the 10 megabytes we will be sending at 10 megabytes per second rate that is 10 by 10 equal to 1 second so in 1 second the entire data will be sent out after this 0.1 second so the total time taken is 1 second plus 0.1 second that is a total time of 1.1 second that's the answer to this question